What the f is that? <laughs> I'm probably in the minority here, but one of the most fun aspects of getting up early on Saturdays to watch cartoons was to see the weird commercials that played in between the shows. A lot of ads that played during these blocks were just basically these absurd and over-the-top acid trips, with sugary cereals having some of the most downright bizarre commercials on offer. Since there are so many cereals out there to choose from, advertisers are kind of forced to do some pretty strange things in the hopes of getting some kid to be all, Ma, we gotta go get some of that there cereal. So today we'll be looking at the weirdest of the weird, the strangest cereals out there that'll make you say, what the f drugs were these people on and dear god i hope they didn't put any of that in the cereal oh yeah and at the end of this video i'll be bestowing one of these ads with this amazing prize a floating crown jpeg thus proclaiming it as the strangest cereal ad of all time so get hyped they're coming they're wild okay this seems normal enough Captain Crunch's Crunch Berries, now with tasty green jungle berries. <laughs> the f When your crush finally texts you back. When she says Eye of the Tiger is her favorite song. When the dentist says Open Wide. Alright, not the weirdest thing I've ever seen, though I can't honestly say I expected him to go all Kirby there at the end, but I mean, who really would? What is that? I think it's a ship. It's ancient. There's an opening. Whoa. Do you see what I'm seeing? Yeah. Digging the alien vibes. Not really sure how they came up with the whole Fruit Loop alien parallels, but they rolled with it, and I guess I approve. Ah! <laughs> Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. Part of this complete breakfast. I doubt many kids actually put together that this was an alien parody. Again, it's kind of a strange mashup, but not super weird. Though the idea of Toucan Sam bursting out of a cereal box and latching onto my face is something I never thought I'd fear until this, so thanks for that. All in all, I like this one. 10 Hurt John Hurts out of 10. Swirls. <laughs> Fruit Loops with Jungle Berry Swirls cereal. Swirls, part of this complete breakfast. I hope you ah! swirls. <laughs> what the f is that? A where to can? This toucan Sam looks like he walked out of the next episode of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. I mean, look at this thing. It's a bird with hands. A bird with hands. Birds don't have hands. I don't know, with these last two ads, it seems like Fruit Loops wants people to be afraid of their mascot. If that's what they're trying to achieve with these horror shorts, I guess I'm gonna be walking through the cereal aisles like this from now on. <laughs> that's nosy Mrs. Babbitt's. She sees everything that goes on in the neighborhood. What are those boys up to? Hmm. Mm mm. What are you Does she see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's the talk of the town. Take a peek at this, Mrs. B. There's swirls of cinnamon sugar all over every bite. An obvious part of this balanced breakfast. I've never seen such a thing. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the taste you can see. Nothing too out of the ordinary. They're sweet. Oh gosh. They're sweet. They're sour. And they're free. Shock tarts. Uh, now in marked boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Gotta love these commercials where they distort kids' faces for the sake of comedy. I feel like I should disqualify this one since the weird stuff is about the candy you get as a prize inside, but this is my show, so I'm gonna keep it in the running. What are you hiding in that smile, Sally? What dark, twisted thoughts lie behind that flashy facade? Son, I think we need to talk. Holy Walter White, Batman, it's Aaron Paul. Guess everyone's gotta start somewhere. So I guess this whole commercial is just Aaron Paul going insane because his creepy parents are holding his cereal for ransom. This one's just kind of dumb, though it does get a couple weird points because it has 90s Aaron Paul in it, but other than that, nothing too special. I think we really got through to him. Gotta have my pops. And by pops, he means meth. 
Oh, I remember this one. This one's actually pretty good. It's got a whole kaiju movie parody going on. <laughs> Plus, the animation's pretty unique, but I've always kind of hated it when people do that whole upside-down face thing. It's just kind of unsettling to me for some reason. It's just kind of unsettling to me for some reason. Hashtag chin monsters are not people. Me want honeycomb. Again? With passion. Me want honeycomb. He looks better on TV. Cut! We've hit maximum weirdness. Abort! Abort! Okay, let's shoot the cereal. Honeycomb! I just gotta have that honey sweet crunch! Me want honeycomb! <laughs> Move it, hula boy! Game over two, please! Perfect! It's so real! Man, f these honeycomb commercials. These furry monstrosities are some of the grossest things I've ever seen. They look like Sonic's coked up cousins. All of these commercials are just batch insane, which kind of sucks because honeycombs are actually a pretty good cereal brand, but these things make me never want to touch the cereal again. I mean, I don't want to turn into one of these hairy sugar crazed monstrosities, do you? No, thank you. Real footage of angry Sonic fans reacting to the Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer. <laughs> God, these things are so hideous. Like, is he is he naked right now? Honey, that Cheerios may look little, but the taste is so big your eyes won't believe your mouth. Ah, Honey Nut Cheerios, one of my personal favorites. This should be pretty wholesome, right? Ugh, great. More of this gross body horror stuff. This shit is straight up Spongebob or Courage the Dog or something. Like, you know what I'm talking about when a character would just, like, squeeze out their own eyeball like it's Play-Doh or something? For bonus freakiness, of course her eyes got a big frickin' mouth on it, too. Nah. Nope. A big, sweet honey nut taste that's part of this complete breakfast. <laughs> This has no place in a Cheerios ad. Get that sh out of here. Got to go. Whoa! Double bike, man. Here I come, my am Sydney, man. These commercials were my jam. Each one had this sentient cinnamon stick with a Jamaican accent named Cinnamon racing against this crabby apple to see who could reach the bowl of Apple Jacks first. But Cinnamon was always the Weenamon. Good stuff, right? Good stuff. Except for these ads where they get like fused together for some reason. Here I come, my am Sydney, man. What happened? Whoa! Oh no. They've got four f***ing legs now. Mm-mm. Getting flashbacks to Cat Dog and how the two of them are always fighting for control of their own body. How dare they take such a great concept like Cinnamon and go and create this nightmare fuel. Way to go, Apple Jacks. Way to go. How'd they come up with new Cookie Blast Hot Quaker Oatmeal? Maybe a truck full of Quaker instant oatmeal. No brakes! And a truck full of cookies. No brakes! Goes off a cliff. Mommy! Into the steaming geyser. Cookie Blast! Mmm, chocolatey. Mm, marshmallows. And that's no Cookie Blast hot Quaker oatmeal. So what you're telling me is that two people died to bring us Cookie Blast oatmeal? These creepy bears don't even seem to care that two people just met their demise. They're all, Yum yum, we will feast on their blood and entrails as it rains down from the heavens. Although according to the commercial, the bears love Cookie Blast so much they'll never eat humans again? Yeah, okay. I have a hard time believing that statement. Does that look like the face of mercy to you? Cookie Blast! Well, that's the last of the commercials, so it looks like it's time for me to award this floating crown JPEG to the weirdest of the weird. And the winner today is, drum roll please, these f***ing abominations. Seriously, whoever designed these creatures deserves to be punched by jacked Toucan Sam. 
Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode of Saturdays. I hope you guys enjoyed watching some of these weird and strange serial ads with me today. I know it's a different type of video from what I usually do, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it all the same. If there are any other serial commercials out there that I may have missed and you remember thinking were pretty... Eh, then let me know about those down in the comments below. I'd love to watch those, check them out, because I've got nothing better to do. If you want to help this channel grow, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for letting me be a part of your weekend. See you guys next time.